Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll be starting a new topic that is the percentage and its application. So this is going to be chapter number eight. So now let us see the part one of it. So first thing before starting the actual exercise, we'll see this will be the formulas used somewhere. That is the increase percentage is the actual increase divided by original into 100. And if it is a decrease percentage, that will be the actual decrease divided by original into 100. So now we'll start with the exercise that is 8.1. So here it says find 15% of rupees 240. So what will you do here? Whenever you see a percentage sign, you are going to divide it by 100. So 15 by 100 off means that is a multiplication. This will be multiplied by this 240. So now let us simplify this. This and this gets cancelled. So 2 5s are and 2 12s are. So your 5 1s are 5 3s are. So you can simplify as you like. So that will be rupees 12 3s are 36. So that will be rupees 36. Again, there are 35% of 4,200, so 35 divided by 100 because this is percentage into 4,200. So this is going to be 1470, that is rupees, because this is in rupees. Same here, after simplifying, you get 1575 by 2. So that will be in decimal, that will be rupees 787.50. Now here it says solve if 15% of x is 75, you have to find x. So now see a 15% as it is of 75 is means you have to write is equal to and this is 75. If this you know, other things are very easy. So now here it will be the same. Here will be 15 by 100 of means multiplication x is 75. So x is going to be 75. Now this is going to change the place and this is multiplication. So what will you do here? You will take this on this side that is going to be because it is multiplication, it will get divided. That will be this will be the reciprocal of it that will be 100 by 15. So your 15 ones are 15 files are so this will be x will be 500. Same here 20% of y is 75. So 20% of y is means is equal to 75. So you can also do this way now 20% means 20 by 100 multiplied by y is 75 so y is going to be 75 so this you take on the other side that is going to be the reciprocal of it that will be 100 by 20 21s are 25s are so this is going to be 375 now here if 20 percent of a class failed in maths and the number who passed is 36 find the total number of students in the class so percentage of students failed that is given as 20 percent so let, let us write here so percentage of students passed will be this 20 percent failments that is going to be from 100 minus 20 so that is the percentage of pass pass is going to be 80 percent so now you have to find a total number of students so now here we can say here let x be the total number of students so now we have to see find a total number of students in the class so now let us see first 80 percent of x that is 36 because they said who passed is 36. So your past percentage is 80%. So we have to take 80% of x is 36. Means 80% of total is the past is 36. So 80% means 80 by 100. So this step is very important. So 80 by 100 multiplied by x is 36. So x is going to be 36 into this will be the reciprocal of that. That will be 100 by 80. So this and this gets kind of four twos are and so here you, 4 2s are and 4 9s are so you can do it any ways you like 2 1s and 2 5s are so this is going to be x is 45 so we have considered x is the total number so there are 45 students in the class now given that p is 0 0.25 and q is 2 by 7 you have to express p by q as a fraction in simplest form p by q so p is given as 0 0.25 q is given as 2 by 7 so 0 0.25 we can also write because there are after decimal there are two numbers so we can divide it by this can be written by 25 by 100 and this will be 2 by 7 so now here 25 by 100 this is the numerator this is the denominator so 25 by 100 and in the denominator 
this will be the reciprocal of it that will 2 by 7 will become 7 multiple this will be multiplied by see here i'll just show you here because here many of them get confused actually this is division sign division sign 2 by 7 so this is the left hand side remains as it is and this we are going to change the sign multiplied by this will 2 by 7 will be 7 by 2 so here will be 25 ones are 25 fours are so that will be 7 by 8 is the answer Hence, find P as a percentage of Q. So, P, P as a percentage of Q means P by Q. Percentage we want means that is going to be 100%. So, we already got P by Q as 7 by 8 because this whatever we got that was P by Q. So, we'll write here 7 by 8 and this is 100%. So, that will be after simplifying this one. So, we get 175 means 4 twos are and 4 25s are. So, that will be 175 by 2. And this can be written as here 87.5 or you can 0.5 means that is going to be 1 by 2. You can write it anyways either this or this way. That is in percentage. Smita went to school for 192 days in a year. If her attendance was 75%, find the total number of working days of the school in that year. So to let total number of working days be X. So 75% because the attendance was 75%, 75% of total. That is X is what that was 192 so this step is very important so 75 percent means 75 by 100 into x is 192 so x is going to be 192 and this is going to be the reciprocal 100 by 75 so this you can simplify this one 25 threes are 25 fours are and then three ones are this will be 64 so this will is going to be 256 so x is 256 and that is what they are the total number of working days that is 256 a food seller had some mangoes. After selling 60% of the mangoes, he still has 576 mangoes. How many mangoes did he have originally? So number of mangoes sold, that is 60%. So number of mangoes remaining, that will be from 100%, 60% means that is going to be 40%. So now we are going to concentrate on this 40%. Because how many mangoes did he have originally, we have to find. So let total number of mangoes be X. So 40% of x that is because he still has 576. So this is 576. So this will be 40 by 100 into this x is 576. So x is going to be 576. And this will be the other side means it is going to get the reciprocal that will be 100 by 40. So after cancelling out this one, you get 144 into 10 that will be 1440. So that is x we have considered that is total number of mangoes. So he had 1440 mangoes. The population of a town in the year 2018 was this one. And if the population of the town increases every year by 5%, what was the population in the year 2016? See here, this was 2018 was this much. So we want a population. What was it in 2016? So now what will you do here? Let the population in the year 2017 because now here this was 18 was this month so bx so increase percentage is five percent so what will you do population is 2017 so this x plus this one five percent of x that is already given as 132300 so x plus five by 100 because this five percent is five by 100 x is 132300 so when you simplify this this is going to be the LCM is going to be 100. So this also multiplied by 100. So this will be 100x plus 5x. So that is going to be 105x. And the LCM is 100 divided by 100 is this one. So x is going to be 132300 into this is going to be the reciprocal because this is multiplication. So it will be 100 by 105. So after simplifying, you can simplify and see here. The x value will be 126000. This was in 2017, but we want a population of 2016. So population in 2016 means x plus again 5 plus 5% 5 of x. That is now you got this as 126000. So what will you do here? This is going to be 5 by 100 x. So again, you will take the LCM of this one. So this is going to be 100 plus 505 x by 100 and this is going to be 126000. So x will be 126000 into 100 by 105. So this will be, you can after simplifying it, you get 
as 120000. So we can say population in 2016 was 120000. This we can also do in one point. We have one formula P into for the population 1 plus R by 100 is true N and this is you can get it directly. But uh, since in your textbook this formula is not been mentioned over here, I have done with this one and this is bit a longer way. But once you know how to do the steps, you can do it easily. So the answer is 120000. The population of a town increases every year by 10%. If the present population is 180000, what will be the population of the town after two years? So this was present population that is given as if the present population is one so it is really write the given things increase in population that is given because increases every year by 10 percent so increase in population that is 10 percent so increase in population because we want after two years so after after one year so here first we'll see the in, uh, increase in population after So just we will see here, we will see later on. Okay, so we will see the increase in population that is 10% of this one. So this will be 10% of its given year, 180,000. So 10 by 100 because this is percentage and this will be multiplication 180000. After simplifying this, you get 18,000. So now you want the population after. This was the increase in population. So population after one year. So population after one year means the initial, the present was 180,000. And we got the increase in population 18,000. So after one year, that is the 18,000 we are going to add to it. So we get 198,000. So now increase in population during second year. So again, it is 10% of 10% of this, whatever we get the population after one year. So now here. So here we can write here after increase in population after one. So here we can write here increase in population after one year. So that will be. And this is the increase in population after. After two years. So that will be one. This is now the original one. So one nine eight zero 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 and plus this one. What was the increase? That was nineteen thousand eight hundred. So it is. 217800. So that is what they have asked that the population of the town after two years will be 217800. In the month of October, 34,000 people visited a museum, but only 32,300 people visited the museum in the month of November. So in the October, that was 34,000, and now you can see this is 32,300 in November. So what you can see from 34, it came to 32,300. So that is a decrease. So now we will find to find a decrease percentage in the number of visitors. So number of people visited in October, we will write the given things first. 34,000 number of people visited in November, that is 32,300. So decrease number of visitors, that is going to be how much? 34,000 minus 32,300. That is going to be 1,700. So now we have the formula that we have shown in the start. There are two formulas, increase percentage and the decrease percentage. But now the number of decreasing, so you can use this formula. Decrease percentage is actual decrease divided by original into 100. So what was the actual decrease? That was 1700. Original, what was it? That was 34,000 into 200. So after simplifying this one, we get that is going to be 5%. Aman's monthly income is rupees 30,000. If his income increases every year by 9%, what, was his, what will be his monthly income after two years? So now see a month's monthly income that is given as 30,000, that is a given thing. Increase of income, that is 9%. So actual increase in, we want after two, this one, two years. So we'll see first year, that is 9% of this 30,000. So this comes to, after simplifying this, that will be rupees 20, 2700. So now a month's income after one year, that will be how much first year to see the actual increase than the income. So that was 30,000 was the, income at the start and then after one year this is the increase one so that will be 30,000 plus 2,700 so that is going to be 32,700 so now we will see the the amount's income after second year so again now nine percent of this amount 
whatever the income is after one year. So be careful with this figure. So 9% of 32,700. So 9% 9 means 9 by 100 into 32,700. So that is going to be 2943. So a month's income after second year, that will be, you are going to add this one too, because this is the increase. So 32,700 plus 2943. So which is going to be 35,643 rupees. So here we can use the word instead of that increase after we can use the word increase after second year. Anmol salary after an increase of 12% is 44,800. What was his salary before the increase? So now we can say that Amol's original salary be X. So now increase in salary is given as 12%. So 12% means we can say that 100 plus 12 because that will be 112% of original salary that is given as 44,800. So for this one 112% means 112 by 100. Original is given as X means off means multiplication and this is going to be X is 44,800 so x is going to be 44,800 and this is built by the reciprocal that will be 100 by 112 so after simplifying this you get 400 here so 400 into 100 that is going to be 40,000 so we can write it therefore increase in salary is rupees 40,000 the value of a machine depreciates that is decreases every year by 5% if the present value of the machine is 24,000, what will be the value of machine after two years? So now present value of machine that is given as 24,000. So now let us write it here. Decrease percentage that is 5%. So actual decrease after one year. So 5% of this one, 24,000. So 5 by 100 into 24,000, which is going to be, after simplifying, we get 1,200. So value after one year. This was the decrease one. So value after one year from the original, that is 24,000. This 1,200 is less. So that is going to be after one year will be 22,800 rupees. So now we will see decrease after two years. So 5% of again, because 5% it is decreasing every year by 5%. So 5% of this one, that is 22,800. So 5 by 100, this will be 22,800. So this will be 1140. So we can see value after four years, that will be from this one 22,800 minus this. 1140 so that is going to be rupees 216 means that is 21,660 so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts also one more thing there is a new uh, here given the hype that is the Near the comment section, there are two dots. So when you slide over this one, you get, you can see the hype one. So please don't forget to press on the hype button. Thank you.